because God's word is living, active, and sharper than any two-edged sword, it penetrates to the point that it separates the soul from the spirit and the joints from the marrow. It's able to judge the heart's thoughts and intentions. Sometimes when we uh, think about the words, or, or God's word even, uh, we're tempted to think about words on page, right? Words on a page. Uh, kind of like if you were to go to a library and pull out a book, you would think about the words on the page as being uh, that author's words, or, or the words in Scripture as being God's words, and, and that's it. And, and, and while we do call Scripture the Word, uh, we also think about uh, God's, God's uh, instruction, uh, God's presence with us, God speaking to us as, as the Word. And, and I think that that's kind of what's being talked about here. It's not necessarily words on page only, uh, though certainly Scripture plays into it, but also talking about this idea of, of, of God's greater Word, God's Word to us. Uh, and, and I love the imagery of it. It's like a, it's like a two-edged sword that, that is so fine, that it is so uh, precise, that it can, it can cut the soul from the spirit. It can separate the, the, the joint from the marrow, right? The, the marrow of the bone that is part of it. And, and it, it's that precise. And it's, it's obviously not using a, a uh, uh, literal... Uh, meaning there, right? It's it's not that God's word actually separates our soul from our spirit. That's that's not the point. But these two things that are 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 part of each other um, that we wouldn't think of being separate. It, it's that fine. It, it'd almost be like if it were to say, uh, God's word is 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 so precise and so good uh, that it could separate uh, two different color sands from one another, right? It, it's, it's that precise. So what does it mean for God's word to be living, for it to be alive, for it to be uh, that, that impactful, that precise in our lives? It really is a good news thing. And here's why. It's, it's, it's not that it's, it's punitive. Sometimes the scripture can sound punitive, but I think it's probably because it uses that sword uh, metaphor, right? Uh, where we see that image and we think about it as violence, and it's, it's not intended to be. This is a scripture that is reminding us of good news, that God's word is so precise that it is, it is unique to you. God's, God's word is presented to you uniquely. It's that precise. I always think about this idea that uh, that, that God is, is, is sufficient for us. It's, it's not that we need a designer God. We don't need a designer Jesus. God is precise and significant and sufficient for each one of us. God knows how to speak to each one of us, and so we simply need to allow that. We simply need to allow that, which means we need to allow Scripture to speak to each one of us. And understand that the way in which God speaks to you is different than the way God speaks to me, is different from the way God speaks to a neighbor, a friend, a relative, a significant other. God speaks to each one of us in unique and meaningful ways. It's precise. It's living. It's alive. And so let's let it be those things. Amen.